Hey YouTube, it's uh, Kyle here with a uh, kind of special video, I guess you could say. Um, this is kind of a video to, first off, thank you all for watching my videos, uh, everything. It means a lot to me. Um, I made this because I just hit my million views, millionth view. So uh, that's to me, that's outstanding. That's amazing. Um, I know it's nothing, nothing really huge compared to other people, but to me, it really means a lot. I appreciate that you watch my tutorials, covers, everything. So uh, this is just first off saying thank you to everybody. Um, the video that probably helped that happen was the Boston video, which I worked really hard on that, and it's got almost, it's got as of right now in this moment in time, it has almost four hundred thousand views, which I never thought that it would. I thought maybe it'd get a couple thousand at the most, but anyway. So once again, thank you so much for that. And the second part of this video is. Uh, this. Uh, this is a piano, uh, actual piano, real piano. Uh, by real, I don't mean, I mean not electronic. In my grandmother's basement. And it, uh, this past summer, almost a year ago, we actually, uh, me and my cousin and my mom actually painted it, uh, graffitied it up, as you can see. So it's, uh, kind of just a video to show that off. So, uh, <coughs> get the camera closer and we can take a look at some stuff. Uh, it's just kind of graffitied everywhere, uh, inspired obviously by the album MX. Uh, I know the MX era is over, but uh, it's been it's been probably graffitied for quite a while now. But uh, the keys, uh, everything really is is graffitied. I'll try to get a wider view here, but that's it's uh, it's not the best paint job in the world. It's not uh, Chris Martin's piano, but it's uh, most certainly is. Uh, I'm very proud of it. So before I take you on a full tour of it, uh, play some stuff real quick. Also, if you notice, there are tacks in the heads. Um, which is supposed to be a tack piano, uh, which is what they used for, uh, a lot in the Viva La Vida album uh, for Lovers in Japan, stuff like that. So uh, you might not be able to hear it on the camera, but I'm going to give it a shot real quick to see if you can... Uh, Hear the sound, and um, yeah. test of uh, playing it and now I'll uh, take you on a tour okay so over here it's got some lyrics a couple uh, symbols Um, it's uh, this camera really isn't doing it justice because it's uh, it's pretty bright and fluorescent um, in person. But anyway, uh, this was actually supposed to be um, a butterfly, and I, I messed up royally, so it turned it into a heart dripping into a, a teardrop. 
Um, so that's the left side of the piano, then going over to the top. Uh, just some more lyrics. And this is probably the biggest you know, paint job I've ever done. Uh, I don't, I'm not really a good artist, so it's, it's not the best, but, and it's still kind of unfinished. But, uh, yep, yeah, got the eye, my mom did that, got the eyes in there. Uh, the keys, the keys are all painted. Um, and then the, this is really cool. It's the, uh, the mystery lyrics from the front cover. Um, un unheard song. Uh, and as we go to the, toward the bottom, just, uh, some stuff. Got to, uh, Of course, we gotta put the car kids in there. Um, down here. All right, and now this bottom part is really hard to see, but it's actually, it's really awesome. So uh, I kinda got a light here to show you, but it's hard to see because it's, it's under the piano, so it's really dark, but maybe if I back up a little bit, you can kinda get a, a sense. Um, I can, I'll brighten it up, but uh, it's hard to see and it looks kind of bad in the dark, but uh, it's pretty, uh, it actually looks good. It's just, it's really hard to see in the dark. This camera really isn't that good with contrast, so we'll kind of skip that for now. As so you go over here, now this, I'm pretty proud of this because this is. This side is supposed to be a replica of uh, the piano Chris played for all of the festivals um, up until when they did the tour where it changed. The One Eye, uh, the Under One Roof, the Voodoo, um, all the way down to Rex, the CK of course, and at the bottom the transmission symbol. Um, but it's really hard to see in the light like I, like I said. but. Um, it does glow in the dark. There is some glow in the dark paint on here too, which is pretty cool. Um, I do not think it's going to work. I highly doubt it will work, but we can give it a try. You can kind of see it, I think. You can't see it at all. That's disappointing. Alright, uh, yeah, unfortunately you cannot see the glow in the dark paint on the camera, which disappointing because it's one of the best features of the of the piano but uh overall that's a quick look um it's not really done yet i guess you could say but uh just kind of working on it off and on um just symbols lyrics everywhere um yeah it's really cool like that but uh that's pretty much pretty much it just wanted to kind of showcase that worked hard on it last year never really did anything with it, so, but, uh, that's pretty much it. Well, once again, uh, thank you all for, for watching, and, uh, every milestone I hit now will be, uh, it's because of you, and, uh, that's pretty much it, but I wanted to have a video to kind of sig signify, um, I had one for the half a million, and this, this is the million, the big one, so, uh, just wanted to kind of show this off and say thank you, um, and kind of a, I know the MX era is over, but uh, kind of a goodbye to the MX era, so bye.